Hi, and welcome to another video from visionmaths.com. This time we'll be looking at 3D shapes, their faces, vertices and edges. Our example pyramid here has a flat face, as we can see here, a vertice or vertex, which is where three or more points meet, an edge, which is a straight edge that surrounds the shape. If we take an example here that's a cube or a cuboid, if we were to extend it one way, we can see that it has six faces. You can remember this because a dice only goes up to six. We can also count the amount of vertices, that's where the three edges of each corner meet. And finally, it will have 12 edges, that's the straight lines that connect each of the vertices. A cuboid will also have six faces, eight vertices and 12 edges, as it's exactly the same shape, it's just been extended in length. If we were to count the faces on a cylinder, we see there's one on the top, and then this long one that goes all around the side, and one on the bottom. The one around the side can be confused easily. You have to remember, as there's no edges to divide up the surface, it's still just one face. Cylinders have no points where three vertices meet, therefore it has zero. It has two edges, as two faces meet at both the point on the top and the bottom. If we count the faces on a triangular prism like this one, we can see it has five. And if we're to count the vertices where three or more points meet, we can see it has six. This would be the same as if you were to go inside a tent and count all the corners. Triangular prisms also have nine edges. This next shape is called an octagonal prism. That's because it's an octagon that's been extruded. We can count it's got the eight faces around the edge and then two either end, making ten altogether. If we count all the vertices where the three points meet at any corner, we can see that we have 16 that carry on all around the shape. Now we've deliberately left out the x-ray version of the shape so that we can draw in the edges that are missing to hopefully make the shape come to life by counting the edges. When they're all counted up we can see that we have 24 edges that surround the octagon. We'll move on to a square based pyramid like this one here and we can count that it has 5 faces. As for vertices, there are four points on the bottom where three edges meet and one final point on the top where all four supporting edges meet. Finally, there are eight edges that separate two faces. Our next shape is a hexagonal based pyramid. We can see here it has seven faces, that's six surrounding and one on the base. We also have seven vertices, that's six on the base and one uniting all the supporting edges at the top. If we were to count all the edges that are dividing two faces, we find that we have 12 in total. When it comes to counting the faces on a cone, we can see again, like the cylinder, there's one plane that goes round with no edges to divide it, and a face on the bottom. Now while generally speaking, a vertice is where three or more edges meet on a shape, a cone technically has a vertice at the top. As there are only two faces, there is only one edge at the base that divides the two. When you take the top of a cone, you get a frustum. The frustum now has three faces, as you've got this flat one on the top here, the one continuing around the outside, and the one on the base. It has zero vertices, as you've taken the top point off, however now it has two edges, as it divides the three faces. Finally, a sphere has no edges or vertices, therefore it just has one face going all the way around the outside. Thanks for watching, and as ever, subscribe to our channel, Revision Videos, for more free videos, or go to revisionmaths.com for more free materials.